the uh, AUV that we operate is a Remus 600. It's manufactured by Hydroid here in, or up in, in Massachusetts. It was originally developed at the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. And as an auton it's a propeller-driven autonomous underwater vehicle. So the way it works is it starts out at the surface with, its, with a GPS location. It knows where it is and then um, she dives under the water and, and uh, executes a, a pre-programmed mission or a mission that has some sort of adaptive capability to it. Uh, that res responds to features in the environment. Willie Haskell is a postdoc who's working with me, and the thing that Willie's interested in is the vertical flux of nutrients from the deep, deep waters, which are, are rich in nutrients. And the reason they're rich in nutrients is because all the production in the upper surface layer sinks down and is remineralized down there. And that's um, that's where Meg, that's what you know Meg's role is, is thinking about what's what's sinking down. Willie's interested in how do those materials, how do those nutrients get brought back up into the surface. And so the AUV has uh, two instruments that are really well suited for that. Um, one is a nitrate sensor, so we wanted to come out and make some, get a couple of profiles of the nitrate sensor. And the other uh, instrument that it carries is a, a device for measuring turbulence in the water. And so that was the, the pointy thing on the end of the nose. Uh, and the combination of those turbulence measurements plus those nitrate profiles give us the ability to calculate the vertical flux of nutrients from deep, uh, the deep water up into the shelf water. We got a profile of nitrate and we got turbulence measurements and so that's a great uh, uh, data set to be able to go back and start working on. You know, we've, we've got one set of, of, one picture of a state that we can use to start doing some preliminary analysis and that'll help us shape uh, hopefully sub subsequent cruises to be more effective and um, you know, rather than going out blindly we'll know what we're looking for. And that was another uh, uh, goal of this trip was just to get a, a you know, so something trial to look at and have a sense of like, okay, well now that we now that we've got this, we can go out back, go back out and be more efficient and, and really target what we need to get. The last uh, deployment recovery, right? That's yeah, that's the last robot for the trip.